Okay, uh, good evening everybody. Thank you for uh, joining us today. Uh, we're going to speak today about business, unlike usual, uh, but I think it, it's important to speak about it. So many people in today's uh, day and time are looking for opportunities to either increase their income or uh, find a job or business that will suit their needs. And today we'll speak briefly about the options that they have. Pretty much there are uh, four options that Robert Kiyosaki outlined in his book. And they are employee, employee, entrepreneur, investor, and big business. So employees is the most of the people uh, that uh, we know right now work on a job working for somebody. The benefits are you know your time, nine to five, eight to six, whatever the case might be. You get your salary, you get your benefits, you may have union, and uh, this is considered to be a very secure job. You have to have some kind of education to do it, uh, and uh, that all sounds good. The only thing there is a problem with that. And the problem is, or it's actually not a problem, it's just the result of this, you cannot make a lot of money and you cannot have flexibility. Entrepreneurs are different. They don't work for anybody, they work for themselves and uh, they have a little bit more flexibility. Seemingly, they may have a little bit more money, but they have no job security so called. Nobody pays them salary unless they produce. Nobody pays for their vacation or for their medical insurance unless they buy it. So this is really hard and basically as long as you're working, your business is going to produce. Once you're not there, the business is going to stop. Uh, big business, so now we're talking about corporations and the owners of corporations are in better position than entrepreneurs because they don't have to go to work and make sure the business is working. They go to work to organize other people. That's what the business is called, organizing the efforts of other people. They have the money. They have management uh, that they hire and they make uh, the management takes care of the business and the owners obviously got the benefit of it so this is a good idea but to get here is very hard you have to have a lot of money to start and uh, obviously the expenses are also very hard now investors this is the, probably the best place to be if you want to be have so-called passive income And what it is, the passive income comes to you whether you work or not. Uh, the investors, we can know the realtors, we know people who invest in the stock market, and basically they put their money in and then they get a return back from either stocks or real estate in forms of uh, rents. And uh, that sounds all great, the only problem is to get there you need to have more money than in big business. Um, so again, not many people who are looking for a job or trying to make a, a new ends meet cannot get there right away. So, what are the options? The options are start your own business. business and let's just list a few things that we need to start the business we need some kind of idea and we need to make sure that that idea actually is interesting to somebody else besides us if we have a great idea that only us interested in we can only select ourselves so that's not going to work it has to be an idea that people are going to pay for then we have to get some kind of uh, well, I guess office office or store or factory, whatever the business is going to be, you have to have a location where this business is going to work from. And uh, with this comes rent, insurance, or mortgage, depending which way you acquire the premises. Then you have to get supplies. And that could be furniture, could be 
machines, if you're going to produce something. Uh, you need to get shells if this is a store. Shelves. So whatever it is, you need to buy it. Or in some cases you can rent it, but again, we're talking about getting money out of the pocket before you got anything. Next, unless you work on your own or with your family, you need employees. And employees will need to have paycheck, medical, insurance, um, benefits, whatever you decide to offer. And this comes back to the same thing. Money before you make money already have to pay this. Last but not least, there are taxes, licensing fees, Etc. Something you have to pay to the federal, local, or state government to operate your business. And again, this is something you pay before you can even start your business, before you can even make any money. So, if you have money in the beginning, that may be a good idea. Now, let's compare this. So, I will just leave this. The store. This is called lineal business, so we just do it as other people do. Now we have network marketing. And let's compare this business. Somebody already has an idea for product or service. So you don't have to create it, you just have to like it. You don't have to uh, produce it, you just have to uh, experience it yourself and feel that this product service uh, works. Second, uh, location or office. You don't have to have your own office unless you want to because the company has the production, company has the storage facilities, company has the administration offices, which company is paying for. So no expense here. Supplies. Uh, again, everything that company needs to produce the product or deliver it or manage the company affairs is taken care of by the company that you're working with as an independent contractor uh, be in a network marketer. So supplies are taken care of by the company except for some little things like these uh, banners or markers you want to buy or business cards you want to have. So there is little expense here, let's be honest, okay? There is expense here. Employees. Wait a second. You don't need employees in network marketing. There is no such thing. We only have partners who work with us and the company on equal uh, basis to produce uh, sales. So you don't need employees. You don't need to pay employment taxes. You don't have to have. You don't have to provide health insurance. You don't have to provide benefits. You don't have to worry for your partners to go on vacation and you have to pay for it. So that's out. Taxes and licenses. You don't need license. For most businesses in uh, network marketing, you don't need licenses. Taxes, the only taxes you're going to pay is taxes from the income you earn in the form, which is usually 1099, that you will receive at the beginning, at the end of the year or beginning of next year for the year that's ended. So this is going to be the basis for your taxes. But wait a second. You have business expenses. You go on convention. This is your expense. You have a dinner with your potential uh, prospect. This is expense. You bought a book or audio course or video or whatever the case may be for your self-improvement. Books, DVD. This is expense. You go on, uh, 
on a week's loan uh, company event in uh, some exotic place. This is the expense so of a company event. So imagine you make some money, then you subtract from whatever money you made all the expenses that you had, and you're only paying taxes on a small portion. Now, somebody will say, but if I'm making money and I'm spending money, I'm not making any money. This is true, but here's the situation. Uh, actually, before I go there, real quick. A lot of expenses are fund, very little expenses are fund. A lot of taxes, you have taxes that you have to pay, but you have a lot of deductions. And here, I don't have standard deductions, which may not be well, not a lot, and with the recent tax reform, they even less. So, think about that. Now, let's talk about the income. Green, right? That's income. So we can uh, review income in network marketing in two ways. We can have part time and full time. Now, why am I saying part time? Because you don't have to start network marketing full time. You don't have to abandon your job and having no income jump into this opportunity. You can continue keeping your job and start doing something else. So we'll say we'll still keep the job. And we add network marketing. Let's say you have two hours a day, five times, five days a week that you can add to your network marketing business. That should be fine. Two hours a day. Now look what happens. You go to work, you get your W not a W two. You have to pay a lot of taxes on that, right? Right. You can take little deductions of that. That's also right. If you don't trust me, check with your account. Now you're going to work network marketing, you get 1099. And then you get this and this combined minus your deductions. Deductions. And this will be your bottom line. So <clears throat> here you go, you're making your money on your job, you're making money on network marketing, and you're reducing the tax uh, that you have to pay by all the deductions you have. If you just started, it's most likely your deductions may be equal to what you make, uh, but uh, maybe even more, but because you're reducing the tax amount, you will keep more in your pocket. Or ideally, you will actually be making more because the way I'll explain it to you, you're actually making money right away. So it's easy to get money right away in your budget. Now, if you go full time, that's where the, the real thing comes in. So if you work eight to 10 hours a day for yourself and you commit to building your network marketing business full time, you're only going to get 1099, like I said. You will still have the same deductions. And you'll have a different bottom line. So here you will have no W2, but your 1099 will be much bigger. Because again, you are probably missing the results, will correlate with the amount of time and effort you put into your business. So uh, if you put two hours per day versus eight hours per day, the difference is going to be four times. Okay? Now, I was going to say how you make money in network marketing. And this is very interesting and fairly simple concept. Have your company, and this is the company you're working with to uh, promote products or services. And we have you, you 
come to the company and say, company, I want to work with you. I like your product, I tested it myself, I received great, great results, and I want other people to receive the same. So, company says, fine, here is your online store. Here is your account. Here is your lawyer. Here is your logistics. Here is your research. Uh, here is your customer service. This is all done for you. All you have to do is bring in customers to the company. If you want to bring customers to the company, it's hard to make a lot of money. So what you do, you talk to people and people say, okay, I want to do business too. So now you have friend A and friend B joining. Now both of you, or three of you actually, bring in business to the company. So you together can bring three times more customers, which produces more money. The company receives the purchase, I mean the money for the purchase. The company sells or sends products directly to the customers, and the portion of the pay portion from here in form of a percentage provided by your marketing plan goes to you and your your friends. Okay. Then your friends saying, oh we also want to get more help, so they bring their friends. And this way now seven of you doing this so how much the effort increased seven times so this is increases as well and this increases as well so whatever you do by inviting people to your company <coughs> helps the company to grow company receive payments for products customers receive benefits from the products and you get paid i think it's very fair and simple answer now many people say, why don't we go to regular company? And here's one. Regular company produces a product. Then it pays for marketing before the product is sold. Then it pays for logistics to the consumers. Then if they use stores, they pay off for, uh, for sales force. Sales force. All of this goes on the product price. In comparison, network marketing company produce products, same thing, no difference. But then, uh, let's put it here marketing, logistics. But there is no sales force here. Now, marketing is not paid until the company gets the money. So if this is upfront payment, which is not guaranteed by the sales, this is after fact payment, which is guaranteed by the sales. So the company will never pay for marketing of a product that has not been sold. So this is expense after sale. This, all of this, Actually, after here, after. So logistics is the only one that is after. 
Everything else is also before sale. And again, for uh, us, for network marketers, for promoting the companies and its products, we pay nothing for this. We only receive at the end of the month or beginning of next month a commission check. Commission check, which is equal to percentage of gross sales resulted. If you read carefully the sentence, it says well, it's from my efforts. So my check is in direct proportion with my efforts. I want to have a big check. I put in more money or my effort, more effort. I want to pay. Uh, I want. I, I'm satisfied with small check. I put little effort. And in any case, I'm winning because I'm in full control of what's going on. I like personally a lot because I'm uh, completely for self-development and self-improvement. When you work for a regular company, not too many bosses will be really interested in your improvement, in your promotion, in your uh, self-development because they see in you competition. And if your boss sees that you growing very well, he or she, unless they're very good people, will be making efforts to slow you down or create something that you will not be advancing. Again, I'm not saying all bosses like this. I know where I work, my bosses are excellent. And, uh, but again, I'm just saying, most likely than not, if you're trying to get the spot of your boss, your boss is not going to be happy. Um, network marketing, in, in reverse, your partners, the people who came in the business before you, they are 100% interested, both emotionally and financially in your growth. Because the better you are, the more uh, sales you can create, the more products you can market to people, the more you can promote the company, so the higher check everybody receives. So in negative network marketing context, uh, your self-improvement is a win-win situation. I'll explain. So network marketing. We have people who hold sponsors. They bring in other uh, distributors or promoters, whatever they call, depending on the company. I'm not talking about any particular company right now. But they bring in distributors. Sponsor is obviously somebody who came to the company early and has knowledge. Has skills. Has systems. And he or she want to make sure that this knowledge, this skill, this system is passed on to each of the members of their team. And again, I like this word team because it means we join in efforts to do something together, which is again a very constructive term for me and a constructive idea. We're all trying to build something together. There is no competition in between each other because all of us trying to get one single thing accomplished, promote our company and product. Now, when these guys bring in their team, guess what they want to do? They want to do the same thing. They pass on the same down to their line. And what happens at the end for the sponsor? When all these people know what to do, the sponsor can relax and say, okay, right now I have created passive income. I don't know, I no longer have to look for sponsors or promote products. I'm not saying he shouldn't, it's his or her choice. But creating the passive income, it's when you have the system of other people who know what to do, know how to do, know when to do it and actually doing it and as a result the sponsor or later these guys because they're also becoming sponsors have passive income the income we were looking on this uh, quadrant by Robert Kiyosaki employee 
employee, entrepreneur, the investor, business, right? So now we have passive income, but we have no investment. We have no upfront cost of entry. So you will ask, what's the problem? Why people not not many people doing this? I'll explain to you. This is also very simple. How many people know about McDonald's, Procter and Gamble, uh, Starbucks? You know why you know about that? Besides that, they now outside, they paid for advertisement. Who did they pay to? Media. Right? So media loves them because they pay money. What about network marketing? How much money media got from network marketing? I'll tell you. Many, many, many zeros, but nothing before them. So do you think media likes network marketing? No. No. How about these companies? They paid money, whether or not it was successful advertisement, they received or not received money. Do you think they like network marketing? Why would they? This is a competition with better product. Better marketing. And less expense. Network marketing companies don't spend money on banners, on uh, TV paid advertisement, on newspaper ads, on mailing com campaigns. They don't. If anything, the distributors will do it from their pocket that they receive in their check. So network marketing company takes their money and put in research, production, certification, and then it pays commissions after products sold. So this is why neither these guys nor these guys like network marketing. There is one more reason why people don't like network marketing, and this I find the most ridiculous reason. Are you ready? Network marketing is easy to do. There are only a few things you need to know to do network marketing. There are only a few skills you have to acquire to do network marketing. But, as my favorite teacher said, Jim Rohn, what's easy to do, also easy not to do. And people who come in network marketing hear about this great opportunity, this low entry cost, these big checks that some people promote, Grab on this, easy to do, jump in, don't get the skills that they need, do it here and there, and they fail. Once they fail, what do they say? It doesn't work. Imagine me go to gym and exercise once a month. Am I going to build my muscles? Yes or no? See the questions, right? Or can I eat today and don't eat for a month? Am I going to be fat? No, I have to eat every day. If I go to gym and exercise, I have to exercise regularly, or I'm not going to get anywhere. Network marketing is no different. It's like life. You either do it or you don't. If you want results, you have to commit. If you don't want results, you don't have to commit. So this is why it is easy to do, 
and anybody can do it. I came from convention today. It was three days in Las Vegas, and I've seen people from 16 years old to 68 years old and 70 years old who are making great big money in network marketing. But all of them said one and the same thing. You have to put an effort. You have to learn your trade. It's no different than any other profession. The difference is low cost of entry, no formal education required. You don't have to go to college for many years. You can learn as you go. With that said, I'm going to conclude that we are here starting a new comp uh, working with a new relatively new company from America. How relatively new? It is 20 years on the market. It sells products in about 40 countries over uh, cert has certified certified products. Forty countries. It has delivery or availability uh, to sell in 180 countries. So. And it has production in the ten most uh, trusted com uh, countries: U.S., Japan. Germany, uh, Korea. Katrina, what are you saying? Here, America. I thought mm -hmm. Canada, I think. I think Italy. Okay, I'm not going to list all them. But the main companies that everybody trusts to uh, produce our products. And all of the products that our company sells, without exceptions, have G and P standard, which calls, uh, stands for Good Manufacturing Practices Standard. Every single product that our company produces, without an exception, has a standard. If you go to Costco or BJ's, most of the products you buy in there will have no stamp for this. Or pharmacy. Or okay. if you go to pharmacy. Take a look how many of the products that you buy in any pharmacy has JMP standard. They don't, and you still trust those companies. So why don't you take a look and speak with us about the products that we provide, that we, we offer, and uh, realize how that can be helpful to you, your family, your friends. And last thing I'm going to finish with is this little uh, drawing that I shared a couple weeks ago or maybe a month ago about this slide wheel. The business we offer is probably the only or one of very few businesses where you can get all of them at once. Time, because you work on your time. Health, because our product sells itself by showing how healthy we become because we help the people to be healthy. And money, obviously, as you produce more sales, you help more people to get healthy, you get more money, and with more money, you get more time. So this is it for now. Uh, if you have any questions, please uh, chat in Instagram or Facebook. If you don't, and uh, we'll share this video later, and you watch it later, please uh, send a message to me or Katrina and uh, we'll be happy to help you. Have a good day, be happy, happy and healthy. Bye-bye.